Hi there, it's Tom with A2 Agile and after today, they may tell me to stop saying that because I am going to start having some fun at the expense of our industry. Just, there aren't enough Agile comedians and I may not be one of them, but by God, I'm gonna try. And today we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning, to the original ski trip that caused the Agile Manifesto to be creative. That's right, a bunch of guys got together, booked a free ski trip on their companies in hopes of improving the world. And by God, they did that with the 12 principles in the Agile Manifesto. But two of those guys thought to themselves, wait a minute, we need to make some money off this thing. And so Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schwaber put their heads together and they came up with Scrum. Yes, it's almost equivalent to Agile these days. We talk about sprints and stories and product owners and the whole shebang as if Wow, hey, that could be a whole new addition. Making music with lights. Anyway, uh, I'll have, uh, you'll notice I have some other music going on in here too. We'll, we'll keep that up. I like making music and I'll try to make it fun and enjoyable and put it in here with you as I have done all along. Anyway, back to our scrum story here. They decided they needed a new role, a role that didn't really have any equation to anything that had happened before. And they called that the Scrum Master. But I can imagine themselves thinking, what should we call this, this role? How about Scrum Police? And what comes to mind is, you know, this whole enforcement thing of the Scrum Police going, hey, Pull over! You guys have any idea how long that sprint took? And the team's like, we're sorry, officer. We were just trying to deliver value in early. We didn't take any notice. And the police says, well, I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time, but let's make sure those sprints stay the length, the standard length from now on. Okay. Maybe Agile police sounded a little too strict for them, so. They decided, since we're using a rugby metaphor, let's pick a title that references martial arts. Now, maybe they thought Scrum Sensei for sure first, but hey, Scrum Sensei is a little hard to spell, so they went with Scrum Master. Yes, Sensei, we will iterate faster next time. Anyway, so, I, I have to ask myself, this new role, it got created out of nowhere. Why do we need this role? What if we didn't have Scrum Masters? Are developers, product owners, UX designers, are they capable of learning, following rules all on their own? Could maybe a team have a teacher, a Scrum Master, if you will, at the beginning and then graduate to a time when they don't need one anymore? Nah! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm going to be doing more of this, and hopefully I won't piss too many people off, but hey, that's what humor's all about. It's making fun of the stuff we take so seriously. If you like this, please subscribe. I got a bunch of other videos. There's some good music in those too, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.